Good morning, Blaze. And good morning, guys. Today is December 16th, and this guy is keeping me on my toes this morning. You guys didn't get to see him yesterday very much. We did a, a different kind of vlog, but he was super lazy yesterday, laying around all day long. And I, was, I stayed home with him, and I didn't have any assignments to work on yesterday, so I was able to just sit here and play with him, but he just wanted to lay around. And it was also really cold outside. Uh, today it's a little bit warmer. It's uh, almost 20 degrees out there. So we've been able to go outside and play around a little bit, but he really does go through phases of being energetic and being lazy. Saber is already at work. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's almost 10 o'clock. My hair's a mess. I really need to take a shower. What's wrong, Blaze? What is it? Anyways, let's go ahead and change the calendar today from the 15th day of Vlogmas to the bloop 16th day of Vlogmas. Happy 16th day of Vlogmas, Blaze. You just want your food, don't you? So today, while Sabra is in school, I am going to head to Wheaton uh, for the last time until January. Well, unless, I don't know, probably not, but I need to go take back some library books that I forgot about. There you go. Uh, and I also got to pick up an exam and a paper. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but a couple days ago I had a really big paper due that I had been working on. I'm just kidding. I feel like I talked about it a lot. Well. I am about to go pick up that paper from my professor and I'm really scared about it because I honestly believe it's one of the worst papers I've ever, I've ever written in my life. I think I feel that way like every time after I take, after I write a paper. Go get it. Good boy. Still gotta get the whole bring it back to me concept down. I did not work as hard on that paper as I should have. On a brighter note, I'm super happy that he is much more willing to play with these bones now. You can't get out that gate, Blaze. You tired? I'm about to head to Wheaton, so come on, Blaze, let's put you up in the hallway. All right, guys, I'm at Wheaton now, and uh, I'm gonna go inside the building to my professor's offices. Hopefully they aren't there because I really don't want to see them uh, and grab my paper and my test. It's a class called Genesis 1 through 11 and I wrote about the Tower of Babel which also happens to be the topic that this professor wrote his doctoral dissertation about. Uh, so I'm afraid of, oh, the battery's dying. <sighs> All right guys, I'm back, so let's go. Here we are, I'm really anxious about this. I'm gonna open my test first. This is what I'm least freaked out about. Let's see. Oh, nice. Whew. Very happy with that grade. All right, and here's what I've been freaking out about. My paper. I get full of adrenaline when I'm about to open a paper that I get back. Uh, one, especially one as big as this, 25 pages. My inspiration from this, for this paper, was only partially uh, the Tower of Babel. And partially the faceless god from the Game of Thrones. Oh man, I'm scared, you guys. I had to do the math to see my grade. Yeah, definitely better comments than I thought, but he definitely said some things that I knew that I knew was coming. All right, well that's that. Uh, I'm going to go head back home. I'm home. Welcome home. I'm home. Hey. Hey. Hi guys, I'm home. It is currently, what time is it? 3.15, it is 3.15 in the afternoon. Happy Friday, happy Vlogmas Day 16, which Tyler's already said to you. Come here, boys. Come on. Today is a very exciting day, not event-wise, but, oh, our battery's dying, Tyler. I'll try to record as much as I can. So basically, the network I was with um, for my gaming channel, full screen, broke their contract and tried to renew me, even though I let them know back in August, I do not want to continue with them. Um, took many emails back and The camera totally just died on me and now I get to slow down and tell you guys the whole story. Two years ago, um, it was snowing. Brain, ADD, stop it. I signed with a, uh, with a network called Full Screen. They're really, like, I guess, well known or more well known. This contract is, is for two years. So, um, I found out there was other networks that would take less money from you. So basically with full screen, I only got 40% of my earnings. Whereas 
I could either one, go solo and get 100% of my earnings or partner with a network um, that does a, gives me like 90% of my earnings. I decided I'd much rather go with a company that gave me 90% of my earnings. Sorry if I'm moving the camera while I'm petting Blaze. He's, he's being a little needy today. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not, he'll start whining in a minute. I found a network that actually would do a 90-10 split and there was no contract lock-in, so I wouldn't be locked in for a certain amount of time. If I just wanted to leave, they would let me leave. So, I contacted Full Screen back in August, August 4th to be exact, and I asked them um, when my release date was and once my release date comes, I do not want to re uh, renew my contract. Literally stated just that. Uh, a woman emailed me back, said my release date was December 9th, um, and that I would be released on that day or around that day. Well, I went ahead and on YouTube, you have to click a button called like request to be released. So I clicked at that and then by December 11th, I, well, was it December 11th? When was it? No, it wasn't. Okay. Gosh. December 9th. No, wait, when was it? So by December 11th. Um, I hadn't been released yet. I knew you were gonna start whining. You always do when I'm talking. So I emailed full screen again and I asked them, hey, uh, I still haven't been released yet. Was wondering when that would be. And basically they said, oh, you had to notify us 30 days prior to be released from the network. Um, but since you've emailed us in the past, we're going to release you by the end of this month. So then I go back and say, I emailed you on August 4th and you guys confirmed my request and I, it took me like tweeting them a thousand times to even get their attention and I didn't get their attention until I threatened to bring my lawyer into it. Technically they could be financially responsible for the money I'm missing out on still being partnered with them after my release date. So finally I got released today. I'm partnering with Curse now and all is right with the world. I get to enjoy the snow and my husband and my dog and I might stream in a little bit to celebrate me being released. Woo! Update guys, we are, well, Tyler was playing a video game and I'm currently streaming. Hey, we're streaming Minecraft. Say hi guys. Tucker says hi. Cherry says hi. If you guys see your hey later on in this vlog comment, this is like a vlog section right now. Anyway, I'm about to end the stream and I think we're gonna take the dog to PetSmart. So why are we taking Blaze to PetSmart? Well, or not PetSmart, Petco. Blaze officially destroyed something. One of my favorite pairs of shoes. Yep, that's gone. Remember that non-destructive rope we got him? Yeah, that's gone too. That's all we get for playing video games and not petting him. Yep, so. I think we're gonna get him out of the house. He's been wanting us to play with him all night. And to be honest, to be fair, I haven't played with him since I got home, but him and Tyler have played quite a bit today. Like I said, is he chewing on the bone? Yeah. Finally, that's what you chew on, sir. Okay, now give him a treat for chewing on the bone. So. Anyway, this dog might be the death of us, but at least he's a cute death. I'm not gonna do it now. Okay, yeah, well. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing monkey in the middle. <laughs> He's, oh, oh, get it, buddy! He's like, okay, I'm done. Let's see. He's sniffing again. <laughs> he didn't like that noise. I know. <laughs> Oh, okay, I don't want him jumping off the couch. Blaze, let's go outside. Oh my gosh. Oh, Blaze, he just jumped off the couch. <laughs> Touch the bells. We're currently in Pets Petco, and Blaze is halfway driving us insane. Only halfway. He is so hyper, and bringing him to a place with new people was not a good idea. I think it was. I think he'll be worn out when we get home. That's true. But we're looking at harnesses for him right now because whenever he pulls on the leash, because we haven't leash trained him all the way yet, he like chokes himself and harnesses help with that. So, yes. Okay, so I'm definitely hitting up our friend Kasha uh, for some help with some behavioral training. As much as we love that Blaze loves people, he was just out of control in Petco and we want to be able to take him places and not worry about him like 
jumping on the counter when we're checking out, which is he what did. he just did. I've He's, never seen him jump that high before. No, he was on the ground and he literally jumped onto the counter, which was like chest high to me. He can totally jump over a baby gate at home. Though. He can jump he over that baby know gate. He can. No. His motive though was he wanted to pet the lady, or he wanted the lady to pet him because she pet him right before, so he knew there was a person behind there. <laughs> you should be ashamed. A little annoyed with him. But the second he gets in the car, he's like, whoosh, yeah, like totally calm. I love our puppy, but today he is driving me insane. And we need to get some basic obedience stuff down so he knows not to jump on people. There's we'll a shoe see. carnival right there. Do you need new shoes? I'm not going in with him in the car. I think tomorrow we may go take him to actually go do something to get him out of the house. And we need to come up with a behavior plan, like how much we're going to train him per day. Anyway, let's go home. Let's go.